aftermath here of Doug's Yorkshire experience. Oh, I was sick. He's been in a bad situation. I had a baby. Gave birth to twins. Well, hello everybody, welcome to day number five of the Euro Legacy Tour. As you can see behind me, we've got the beautiful walled city of York, and uh, things are going pretty well. Had a rough day yesterday uh, with Dougster in the hospital, Little but sick. he's back on his feet, he's behind the camera, and we are ready to go to have a full day in York. We'll end up in Edinburgh tonight, and uh, we'll see ya. We found the tomb of Osiris. The 
shot here in a little bit. Put an escalator in there, no problem. Edinburgh. Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> 
picture. That's a good picture. Looking for volunteers down there. Good morning. This is uh, Thursday the 27th and we're here in beautiful Scotland and I just wanted to show you where we're staying in the uh, university here in Edinburgh and we're staying, they call it a bed and breakfast, they just change it in the summertime and, and we're back. Sorry about that, the battery just died uh, but I'm just going to show you the view around the place and where we were staying. Here we go. It's a place called Mason House. That's where we were staying. Just a dorm facility for the college kids. And a bed and breakfast in the summer. How's everybody doing? Oh, we're having a great time. Beautiful rolling hills here. And we're gonna head down to the double decker bus for another tour. Woo! We're gonna see the whole city. Alright. This afternoon. The crag and the tail, the castle and rock. Uh, is the crag, the tail is the bridge of sand students left. After the grave, that in time to live in, you have to be very careful. Two of you spot two wrongly after you had seen that lake. Two of them. On your left, in looking up to Edinburgh Castle. The castle rock has always been inhabited. It was first mentioned by Tacitus. 65 AD and again in a 6th century Welsh poem that claimed the tribe called the Godden lived up there. The oldest building on the rock, however, is the 12th century St. Margaret architect William Banks. That's the site in Edinburgh and it's got the oldest graves of any cemetery in the town. 
buried in that cemetery is uh, a man called John Napier. He was a 60 Oh, we say the same suite of rooms. Overlooking the Kelta Bridge over the valley, where you see the bus shelter, that's where the bridge is, that's the King's Bridge. On your time I was there, the food was excellent, it's Maxi's, and you can sit out on the terrace and look down below you. So on your right is the last little bit of the original road that led to the castle. There's the upper bow. Looking down there, you can see how steep it is. And the next stop is the stop for the castle. We're now on the Royal Mile, so named because there's a Scots Mile between the castle and the top. Carlos at the bottom. In the road from the castle to the Netherbrook Road. The Netherbrook Road is just up ahead with this part of the town. On the eastern gate, if you like. There were six gates in the city in a wall built around called the Flooding Wall. All put up in 1530. Side, you'll see a blue door. If you look up from the blue door, you'll see a plaque on the wall. That shows you what the Netherbrook looked like. Or the Eastern Gate. Over on the right, you'll have the World's End Coast and the World's End Tavern. Gets its name because people were so poor in Edinburgh. self-guided. Do 
just picture myself there. committed a crime about cross-dressing. <laughs> yes, you like wearing women's underwear. Yep. He was seen stealing a pink brassiere and a pair of frilly knickers off a washing line. He ran along to Prince's Street like a big fairy. 
Dave, where does Dave come from? Canada. Guilty! <laughs> Down you go! <laughs> Play that one. Canada. Guilty! Hey! <laughs> that was good. <sighs> now, your crimes have sickened me. I will take you down to the dungeons where I hope you will. Woo! How do we get out? Here we go. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> they didn't make it. <laughs> we lost a couple of people. That's it, follow me. There we are. Don't touch anything on the way. You've arrived just in time. Another fire has broken up, and we need more volunteers to help fight it. This one starts from part of the square, and as the building is so tall, we can't get the engines to bear water onto the flames. Now, I'll be giving orders from here, so pay attention. For those of you who don't know me, I am James Brayton. And I'm the fire master for Edinburgh's first fire He looks a little shady, yeah? I didn't like the looks of that guy. Yeah, they're coming at everywhere. <laughs> You're just anticipating them. There you go. Are you ready to see the body? Yep. Yes. Yes. Well, don't all shout out at once. Say, come on, are you ready? Yes. yes. Wonderful. Now you might call me. <laughs> Behold. What you have is the marvellous. It's indeed a fresh one. So I'm um, going to take my scalp on. I'm going to make the first incision. And just hold on the legs again. Wait. Go. Oh, my. It seems to be a whole mass of diseased flesh which has presented itself and indeed boils. Now I must confess, my colleagues, I'm rather interested in the boils, so I'm going to remove this cluster here, that way I can have a closer look, just a little bit later. Oh, oh, look at that, my colleagues. There seems to be some sort of pus inside this one. Van rental. I'm a professional van plant and you must be the volunteers we've been asking for for some time. So we'll get started on your training right away. Lesson one, the board behind you over there. Now, that is how to identify your standard, stereotypical, run-of-the-mill everyday vampire, expertly drawn by myself. Good luck! Good luck. Good
second week we're here Al staying in the room he's tired from the travel Doug and I are just out looking at the sights Upper class water. Saturday morning, we're here at the Madeleine here in Paris. We just went inside. Here's Al. Having a good day in Paris.
This is our balcony from our room here in Paris. See the train stations right there. We're up on the fifth floor. To Cayenne. Cayenne. <laughs> 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 We're in French country. Uh, it's a really good country. It's called Cayenne. Yeah. How's everybody doing? And I'm having a good rest since I got here. Yeah. I enjoy this. It's nice, comfortable bed, clean quarters, nice and bright, cheerful place. Look at we got bunk beds and everything. And it's not quite as big as, as some places, but it's adequate. It was a good price. Welcome to Sesame Street. Yeah. Yeah. The price is right. So tell us, where are we? What are we doing? Well, we're, we're here because we're here. This is cayenne. <laughs> That's the thing. Cayenne pepper or something. And what are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow? Going to the beaches. Norman Beach. Sorry about my blinking problem. Normandy beaches tomorrow. Normandy beaches tomorrow. Normandy beaches tomorrow. That's right. And for our viewers at home, tell us a little bit about Normandy, just if somebody doesn't really know. Well, landing of the troops. That's where they slaughtered the Canadian boys. Terrible, terrible, terrible. We'll see a lot of that landing area tomorrow. We'll see where they were. A lot of the boys were buried then. A lot of them just your age too, Doug. Sad but true. Germans just mowed them down as they come in off the water to land on the beach. It was a sad day. Well, our tape is coming to the end there. Any final comments on tape one? Well, we're starting our second week. It's uh, July 30th, Sunday. and it's Sunday. And after these couple days, we'll be heading up through Belgium and then ultimately landing in Amsterdam. How exciting. It's been a good trip. We're a little tired. Doug slept 12 hours last night after his Disney day. Yes. 